welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria, if you're new here, and today's yoga practice is called Yoga Bath. So in this class, we'll be trying to create that feeling of sinking into a nice warm bath at the end of a long day, finding deep release in the body and the mind, and really allowing yourself to relax and sink in. So this is great to practice right before you go to bed or maybe first thing in the morning if you're having a slower start to the day or any time that you need a little bit of self-care and relaxation. All that you'll need is yourself and some place to move and a couple of yoga blocks if you have them available. If not, no problem. You can grab something that's a similar shape and size or maybe just a blanket that you can roll up. Whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get started in child's pose and we'll use the blocks to assist for a little extra shoulder opening. So bring the blocks to the top of your mat. We'll rest the hands to them about shoulder distance apart and then crawl your knees back, bring your toes to touch, let the knees open wide and drop your torso down between your thighs. You can rest your forehead all the way to the mat or if you're feeling a little more open, maybe the heart and the chin come down. And now try to emulate the feeling of when you sink into a bath that's the perfect temperature. Let all of your muscles start to melt away from your bones. So not a super active child's pose here, but rather allowing your arms to relax, the forearms, the hands, the fingers. And then feel your hips settle down closer towards your heels. And notice if there's any part of your body that wants to resist this drop into relaxation and start to breathe into it, deepening your breath as you build awareness around what's contracting and what's expanding. And let's all take a full inhalation through the nose together. Breathe in. And then take a big sigh out of your mouth. Let go of anything that's happened in your day so far. Anything that's on your mind, just let it rest for now. One more time like that. Big inhalation through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, sigh. And now, as we move through this practice, you can imagine that your body is like a sponge that's been sitting out and so has become dry and sort of shriveled and contracted in on itself. As we continue to breathe, coat the body with your breath, it's like you're becoming saturated in a way that expands you. And like when you place a dried sponge into a body of water. Press into your palms and we'll come up briefly to the hands and the knees. Now we'll take the elbows down to the blocks. So again, the blocks are about shoulders distance apart. This time we'll keep the knees stacked over or we'll keep the hips stacked over the knees like a puppy pose. Bring your palms to touch and then you can drop your head and your heart down. So you might need to wiggle your knees back a little further and you can always adjust the height of your blocks if you'd like to feel even more opening into your shoulders. So elbows root, palms together at the back of your head or maybe they come all the way to the back of your neck. Try to relax your feet, your toes. Soften the hip creases and just gently comb away any tension that you notice with your breath. Settle deeper into a space of deep, total body, total mind relaxation. You can even picture that your brain itself could soften. Take two more breaths here. Let your heart sink even deeper. Allow your shoulders to fully open. Press into your elbows, lift your head, 
Come out slowly and with control. And then we'll take the blocks up to the top of the mat out of the way for a moment. Come to hands and knees, a tabletop. Here, spread your palms really wide and then stick all of your finger pads down to the earth. We'll take a couple circles over the wrists to open everything up. Go in both directions, a couple of easy circles. Try to keep your knuckles, especially the index finger mound, rooted. Good. From here, let's step the left foot off the mat to the side and then root the sole of the foot down. So the pinky toe side, the big toe, the heel, everything stamped flat. We'll take cat cows with an extended leg. Inhale, soften your front body, contract your back body. Pull your hands towards your right thigh and then stretch your heart forward. As you exhale, round and curl. Hollow your core like you're wringing out a washcloth, suctioning all the water out. Lift your spine high to the sky, create more space there. Inhale, cow. Tailbone lifts, sitting bones spread, collarbones widen. Exhale, draw in, round your spine, and drop your head at the bottom, soften your neck. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Come back to a neutral spine, the left palm roots to the mat. As you inhale, we'll sweep the right fingertips up to the sky, open your shoulder. And then as you exhale, thread the needle, slide your right arm under your left until you can bring your shoulder and your head down to the mat. Once your shoulder lands, see how far forward you can reach your head. From here, you might, with the left leg still extended, crawl your toes more forward until you can bring right hand and left foot to connect. If not, that's no problem. Just stay wherever you are. The left palm can press down to encourage thoracic spine twist. Or if you'd like to go for a half bind, you can circle left arm all the way around to the front of your right thigh. Now get heavy here. Breathe through the outer line of left leg. Notice what's going on in your face, in your jaw, in your mouth, all these little hidden spaces where sometimes tension can be stored that we're not always conscious of. Release, circle the left arm back down to the mat if it wasn't there. Breathe in and reach your right fingertips up high and breathe out. We'll come back to tabletop, right palm lands and draw your left knee back in. We'll switch to the second side. Extend your right leg out straight from your pelvis. As you breathe in, pull the hands back toward the left thigh, arc your heart forward. Shoulder blades hug, cow. As you exhale, the front body hugs to the back body. Pick up your spine high to the sky like it's being magnetized there. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. As you breathe in, breathe to your full capacity all the way to the tops of your lungs. And as you breathe out, let go of every little drop of breath. Neutralize your spine, root the right palm, and then sweep your left fingertips high, opening your shoulder. As you exhale, thread the needle, left arm slides through, shoulder comes down, stretch your neck long, and then you can relax your head down. Maybe reach for the outer edge of your foot, or you can just relax, letting the left arm fall wherever it lands. Right palm can stay rooted, or if you did so on the other side, you might circle it all the way around and back to find a half bind, right fingertips to the front of the left thigh. And as you rest here, you're welcome to close your eyes if that feels comfortable. And just scan your body, scan your mind, Take note of your emotional state. Try to observe everything 
as though it's just a bird flying by through the sky. So it comes into view and then flies away. And let the, the sky through which you're observing all of these qualities about yourself be totally open. There's no boundaries, there's no restrictions. So we're not judging our experience, but we're just becoming more aware. Softly land your right palm back to the mat if it wasn't there. Breathe in and reach your left fingertips up to the sky. Breathe out, come back to a tabletop. We'll take a couple breaths in puppy now. So the hips stay floating over the knees. Walk your fingertips forward. And maybe you reach your forehead to the mat or the heart and the chin can come down. If you're feeling contracting or tension between your shoulders, you can widen your palms slightly and then create a gentle hug of your hands toward each other, activating the midline. Allow the breath to travel through your low belly, your middle belly, all the way to your heart space. Relax your eyebrows. Let your forehead unwrinkle and smooth. And feel like even your scalp and the root of every hair on your head could soften. Press into your palms. Slowly walk your hands all the way back in to tabletop. And then we'll come to a seat. So sitting bones root to the mat. Swing your legs forward and we'll find Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Feet come together, knees fall open wide. Let's draw the heels in close to the groin for today's practice. Bring your hands to the fronts of your ankles or your shins. We'll take a big breath in, pull back and lift your heart, elongate the spine. As you breathe out, start to reach your heart forward, but try to keep as much length in the spine as possible. If your knees are coming away from the mat significantly, you can always slide blocks under them or blankets, towels, whatever you have available. If you're able to keep length in the spine, you can bring the forearms down in front of your toes and breathe deeply into your outer hips. We'll be here for three more full rounds of breath. Start to crawl your way up and out of it. Walk your fingertips back in. And then we'll extend the legs forward to the top of the mat. Flex your toes back towards your shins. Root your heels and then try to pull up on your kneecaps so that the fronts of your thighs activate. Fingertips can come down beside you. Breathe in here. Same idea, as you breathe out, keep length in the spine. So reaching from your heart all the way forward towards your toes. Paschimottanasana. And you can come down any amount. It's okay to have a bend in the knees in order to prioritize lengthening the spine. And you can always slide blocks here under the knees or a blanket, whatever prop you have. Feel as the breath touches different spaces in your body, the expansion that it creates, all the new opening. And then relax into that opening. Last breath here, full inhalation and full exhalation. Rise all the way back up, walk your fingers back towards your pelvis, and we'll come down to lie on our backs. So get there however you'd like. And if you'd like to take any variation of Shavasana, 
Maybe using the blocks, you could find supported fish or you could bring blocks or pillows under your knees. Whatever you wanna do, go ahead and do so. Try to set yourself up to be as comfortable as possible. Spread the arms and the legs and take up as much space as you need. Once you find comfort, drop in. Close your eyes and imagine that you're floating in water that's the perfect temperature. Let everything melt away and find deep relaxation. And try to stay here as long as you have time. When you're ready to come out, do so slowly and mindfully, carrying some of this relaxation with you into the rest of your day or your night. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.